Hello, my name is Jonathan Forster. I'm principal of Morton Hall. I've been here for 27 years and I'm retiring at the end of this year. About a week ago, there was quite a hoo-ha in the press um, about a headmaster, the headmaster of Stowe, called Anthony Wallersteiner, who made a comment about private schools. And he felt that there was a kind of conspiracy against private schools at Oxford and Cambridge to deny children from those schools places at those top universities. Um, it is true that over the last few years the number of people from state schools has grown, uh, gaining entry to those top universities, uh, and of course uh, the number of people from private schools has slightly diminished. But only 7% of people go to private schools in this country, and that makes up about 40% of the people at Oxford and Cambridge. So those stats are pretty good if you attend a private school. The question I've been asked to answer is, does private education provide children with advantages in life? And the obvious answer is yes, because the truth of the matter is that your life starts when you are born and really depends upon your parents and your parents' circumstances, financial, educational, and their aspirations for you. And if you've got parents who put education at the top of the list of priorities and are prepared to make sacrifices for you and send you to a school with small classes, wonderful facilities, um, then you will actually do better at uh, education than people who go to schools with massive classes and much less good facilities. Um, that's kind of the luck of the draw and it seems to me very unfair that from the minute you are born uh, your chances are hampered uh, in this respect but that is life. So what I think is really important is for people in independent schools, private schools, to count their blessings, to realise how extraordinarily lucky they are to be in this environment. People in this school, whether they are students or, or teachers, are amazingly lucky. They're in, in, in the top 7% um, because they go to a private school, but also they're in a wonderful part of the country. I mean, this is a beautiful part of England, and they go to a school with great teachers, wonderful facilities, um, and opportunities to do so many things outside of the classroom. So anybody who comes to a school like this and moans is frankly missing the point. We're all incredibly lucky people. Now, I think if you have that luck, you have an obligation, a moral social obligation, to do something with it. You've been given a really good hand of cards in life. It is your responsibility to play that, that, those cards in the right way. Uh, and that means doing the best for other people as well as doing the best for yourself. If you yourself are then successful, you will be able to give your children the best start in life. Now, I think there are big opportunities just round the corner because this government, and indeed if there were another uh, government, a Labour government, would insist, do insist, that we share our facilities with people uh, at other schools who frankly don't have the, the opportunities that, that we have here. And I think that's great. I think it's wonderful we're building a theatre here, the Holroyd Community Theatre, which will be open to people from all schools in Shropshire and, and North Wales. Um, that collaborative approach to education has got to be the way forward. The fact that we at Morton offer five free places a year to people from local state schools, I think is a really good thing. Of course, we're a charity, and our charitable status is based upon the fact that we do help people. These schools were set up as education institutions. Some independent schools, private schools, have been in existence since, since 1400. There were no state schools at that time. So, Private schools have always been supplying education to people from different social backgrounds, different financial backgrounds. And we all know that education is the game changer in life. With a good education, you go to university. You've got a much better chance of getting a decent job. In that, and then your life is set. So I say open our doors as widely as possible. Know how lucky we are are in this environment and let us share that good fortune with everybody who can then benefit from all the wonderful things that we have here.